check out my little pumpkins. They're so, what do I always say? So freaking stinking cute. Because they are. Um, I have a couple more ears, but that's about as far as it gets. Anyway, if you can't tell, this is a Halloween themed video. But not really. But kind of, sort of. Anyway, before the video gets started, I just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers. And if you are new and you're watching this and you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe down below. And thank you for those that have already been current subscribers for watching and supporting Renee and I's channel. We appreciate it as always. I don't know why I'm doing this. Um, but yeah, we just we just appreciate the love. Um, we got videos coming for you, coming to you. So stay tuned. We just been living our best lives right now and juggling, juggling family and job and sanity, <laughs> bills and what have you. So yeah, just just stay tuned for the rest of our stuff and keep supporting. Keep watching, honey child. Okay, this chicken was so freaking fire i was gonna say busting or bussing but that's not my lingo but just know i love fried chicken y'all already know that so i don't i really don't know why i put this in the beginning of the video but keep watching what's up y'all what's up family it's your girl Devana from vivacious beauties and today we are doing another I don't know what I'm doing, but that's okay video. Now, obviously, I'm going to wash my hands, get all this grease from this chicken off, sterilize all my stuff. But tomorrow at my job, they're having a potluck. It's for one of the girls that's pregnant. So it's like a potluck slash Halloween potluck. What did I just say? <laughs> it's potluck, like baby shower slash... Um... Halloween style. That's what I meant to say. Something, something along those lines. So, I was originally going to make chicken pot pie biscuits because I think that's fire. But when I went to the store, they didn't have any rotis rotisserie chicken. So, I went to the deli and I asked. And they said it wouldn't be ready for another hour and a half or something like that. And I got stuff to do. So, I was like, I ain't got the time or the patience. Okay. So, I just decided to... Instead, I'm going to do the basic biscuits and gravy. Why not? So we're gonna do that, but that's not fun, that's easy. So instead of just doing that, we are going to do, we're gonna be doing some Halloween cheesecakes, miniature Halloween cheesecakes. So right here, I got some little um, English toffee bites. Got my powdered sugar. Got these little rings that I'm gonna sterilize and put in the cupcakes or the cheesecakes. Got these little small holders. Finally bought one of these. I don't even know what it's called. Like a little decorator tip holder applicator. Yeah. Um got some gel. So this is in the color yellow. This is in the color orange because we are making candy corn candy corn style not candy corn flavor because the good lord above only would know how that would taste and i'm not with it so it's going to still be the basic cheesecake it's just going to be colorful like candy corn and then i got graham crackers so the recipe i was looking at it said something about oreo um, oreo cracker crumbs oreo cracker crumbs <laughs> oreo cookie crumbs but i'm cool on that you know I, I don't think that's going to taste well, so I just wanted to be as basic as I could. So we're just going to stick with the graham cracker crumbs, you know. Um, and then I got these little trays from the dollar store that I thought are cute. So I might, I don't know, I think I'll just save one for the house. Well, I'll keep both of them for the house. Matter of fact, let me stop playing games and write my name on the bottom of these so people don't try to take them when I take them to work but anyway I'm not going to be doing the GoPro edition so what I'm basically going to be doing is having y'all look at my hands for the majority of this and then I might have myself in a little bubble somewhere at the bottom 
just walking y'all through it but that's about it so without further ado let's get into it happy halloween peep the hat matter of fact i think it lights up somehow a little feather on here oh how freaking stinking adorable but happy Halloween to y'all. Ooh, I got crumbs on my lip from the chicken, which was good, okay? Um, so happy Halloween. And also, ignore my nails. They're always breaking. Got some crumbs in there. They're always breaking. I always tell y'all that. And then ignore this little band-aid. I was rough, roughly playing with my dog, and her nails scratched me because I was playing with the ball. I ain't got to explain that to y'all, but just know. That's why that's there. Let's get into it. I promise y'all, I'm always eating something right before I record. Like, that's just the thing. So, I'm always thinking there's going to be something in my teeth or in my mouth. But, as y'all are seeing right now, I was placing those baking liners, the cupcake liners or baking cups, whatever you want to call them, in the little cupcake holders, miniature cupcake holders. I think there's about 24, but don't quote me on that, but I think there's about 24 holes and i was just doing what you see just putting the little liners in there then like i told y'all i decided to use graham crackers i was about to say graham <laughs> graham cracker crumbs to then place at the bottom instead of the oreo crumbs that's that's where i was going with that i was like i'm losing my train of thought because i'm thinking about that chicken in the beginning to be honest but no on a serious note I just personally, I love Oreos. I don't want y'all to think I don't love Oreos because of your girl. I, mm, I do love Oreos. But I just thought the graham crackers would be better. So I use that. I do not measure, as y'all have seen in some of my videos. I just don't measure. And if you haven't seen any of them yet, that's cool. But just know, I don't like to measure. I really don't. I just like to eyeball it. What looks good to me is what's going to go in. So, I put as much butter as I thought it would need, and it exploded in the microwave, which was not a fun experience cleaning that up. And I knew it exploded because it made a very loud, I was about to say a very long, a very loud sound. And luckily, that's all it did. It just kind of sprayed along the top in the little bottom turntable at least it didn't like crack it or some crazy like that like crack the cup or something like that because i have done that before but that's besides the point um yeah i got off topic so i had to gather my thoughts um i was finally putting i was stirring up the cookie crumbs with the butter i definitely should have put some more butter in there i'm not even gonna lie but i didn't because oh well i ain't got the time so i just kind of kept stirring filled up all the little uh fillers the little cupcake holders liners cupcake liners cupcake holder liners you know what i'm trying to say i filled them up i then think i turned on the oven to 325 i put the cookie cups with the graham crackers with not enough butter in the oven and then i waited and while i waited i decided to do the cream cheese filling cream cheese cheesecake filling now the cream cheese cheesecake filling consisted of obviously cream cheese i missed my whole finger <laughs> cream cheese sugar the recipe i was following said a little bit of flour I, for texture maybe i don't remember what it said but it said flour so i put a little flour on there i ended up putting too much so i took some out um i think i said sugar already sour cream which i also thought i don't know i don't i've never made a cheesecake so I don't know if sour cream sounds normal, but sour cream, uh, which isn't surprising because sometimes you put sour cream in like glaze, like pound cakes and stuff like that. So it don't, it's not really a surprise, but it's still kind of uh, sometimes. And then what else did I put? Vanilla extract and then two, two eggs. I want to use like vanilla beans one day, wherever I can find some. That would be cool. I want to see how the flavor busts, but I think... 
I think that's how I, I did. And I think I put a little splash of like heavy, I was about to say heavy metal, a splash of heavy whipping cream, which I never really use for anything. Uh, so yeah, stir that up. And I filled up my stuff. <laughs> Where was I going with that? So I actually forgot that I didn't put the graham cracker crumbs in while I was doing the cream cheese just because I thought it was going to burn like if I didn't watch it and since I was multitasking and I was planning on doing the biscuits and gravy I didn't want to put it in there and then be trying to figure out what I was going to put in this cream cheese mixture and then it burns. And mind you I didn't I told y'all I didn't put enough uh, butter in there so I was already just like mm. and I should have put more butter in there but I was like I've never made this before. I don't want to put too much and then it comes out soggy and stuff like that. So, yeah. Now, I started to put the gel. It's like icing gel. Is that what they call it? Or icing. It's like gel that's food coloring. I don't really know. I've never used it either. So I actually did not like it. I tried it a little bit so I could see what it would taste like. I thought it wouldn't really have a taste um, because you were going to be mixing it in with something. But it definitely had a taste and it was weird to me. It wasn't bad, but it was just weird. And the yellow was just so pointless for me to buy because it just wasn't mixing. Like It wasn't turning yellow. And I was just so... I wasn't irritated. I'm never really irritated, but it was just getting tedious with me trying to squeeze the yellow in there and mix it up. It just wasn't working. Um, and then the orange, the orange was cool as y'all saw. It wasn't as orange as I wanted it to be, but it was decent. And I honestly ended up mixing like some of the orange and yellow into the second one because I had to split them up since I was doing the candy cane, candy cane, candy corn style. I wanted it to be like layered. But it didn't work out that way and that's cool i was you know it is what it is my first time making it i don't even think i made the cheesecake right i don't listen you gonna see just keep watching i had to put my hair up because just doing the most this mm, look at this Y'all see this? This mess. <laughs> I mean, it was just not layering. I don't even know why I tried at this point. I should have stopped once I saw that the colors weren't mixing correctly. But I always hold on to faith that things are going to turn out the way they should. So that's why I just continue to freaking stir and put it together and layer. And it just, it didn't look nothing like a candy candy corn i was gonna say candy cane again i'm where i'm ready for christmas obviously but it didn't it didn't come out the way it should have or the way i wanted it to so yeah and then once i was done struggling i decided to be like you know what let's just make the filling the, not the filling but the the topping the whipped cream topping you know it's supposed to be all fluffy like like whipped cream but of course because it's me something has to go wrong okay so i just didn't get the whipped cream thick enough and mind you i kept pouring some heavy cream in this and it just was not getting thick it just ended up soupy and then i tried to put it in that little thing i bought the little funnel that i bought and it was just a whole disaster okay i will never this has probably ruined cheesecake for me and it was so simple maybe it was because i was focusing on like trying to make a video that i wasn't really focusing on being you know showing it love and stuff and i was also trying to get it done that didn't really show it the love and attention that it needed we've all seen spongebob when he shows his krabby patties love and they just come out 10 times better than anybody else that tries to make them that's the problem. When you don't have love in your recipes, it's going to taste like booty eggs and bacon. So, I don't know. I tried. So, as you see, I was doing the biscuits at this point. 
and I was starting to cook the sausage, which took forever and a day because I used hot sausage and I used, I think it was country mild sausage. I mixed the two up together, which was fire. It was really good, actually. And I'm one of those people, I never give anybody my food or anything I make for the first time if I don't try it myself. If I can't eat it and I don't like it, I doubt somebody else is. And so I try everything I eat, just so I throw that out there. Um, everything I eat, I mean, everything I <laughs> Everything I cook and plan on giving to somebody, I've tried it before I actually give it to someone. So, I tried this. After I finally took 10, 20 minutes, it wasn't 10, 20 minutes, I'm being dramatic. But it took a long time to mix up the, um, the meat. And once it was finally cooked, that's when I put my flour in there. I got my flour coated in there. And then I put some butter in there. I put some butter, which I saw that on a recipe, so... I don't really know what it really does as far as the butter goes. I just saw it on the recipe, so I put it in there. And there was a recipe that told me to use rosemary, and I think it's called thyme, 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 thyme. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But that and garlic and heavy whipping cream. Uh, not heavy whipping cream, but half and half. I think it was half and half. I used none of that. I used garlic, and I think I used pepper and some salt. That was it, and it came out fire. I also tried before. I love biscuits and gravy, so I also tried putting a what's your Chester sauce with Chester sauce. I don't know what I'd be trying to pronounce. Um. Let me go off camera and try to figure out what I'm trying to say. What's your chair? What's your chair sauce? Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I just can't say it. So we're just going to leave. I'm not even going to go off camera. We're just going to leave this in here. But it was fire too. I just put a little splash in there and it was good. You know, just Pinterest everything. I be Pinteresting, Googling stuff. And that's how I get some recipes. Um, so I, I got that together. And at the same time, I started getting the little, I was about to say the cookies. But getting the cheesecakes off the baking um tray it, what did i put the cheesecakes in there i don't know if i had put the cheesecake in there yet i think i had already put the cheesecake in the in the uh on top of the graham crackers and put it in the oven by this point so then i um took them out once they were ready and was putting them to the side as i was also trying to cook the sausage which was the struggle and i would never do again but uh, life lessons man Listen, I already know there's going to be somebody in the comments talking about how I put all that salt in there. I, I know, okay? I really, I told you I don't be measuring stuff. And it didn't come out salty because I tasted it. Like I told you, I taste it before I ever give it to somebody. So it didn't come out salty or anything. But I did put, when I was watching this back, I did put a lot of salt. And I didn't mean to. And it's important that you watch your salt intake just because it's, you know, it's not healthy to have that much salt. But it is what it is. Biscuits and gravy ain't healthy anyway. And as long as it wasn't salty and you eat it in moderation, you know what I mean? But I, mm, I, I did. I did feel like I put a lot of salt in there. I'm not going to lie. But I put salt, pepper, and garlic. Like I told y'all, that was it. Because the hot sausage, I felt like I already had enough seasoning. And then the... Um, Country Mild probably had enough seasoning, so I was fine. And then I used Hawaiian biscuits, and I used butter biscuits. So, yeah. Now, at this point, I obviously, I put everything away. I put um, the biscuits and gravy in that little uh, metal container, aluminum foil container that I bought. And then I actually layered aluminum foil on top of that and then put the biscuits on there and then put the... the uh, once it was cooled off and then put the little cap on top and then I taped the bottom so that the cap wouldn't come off and that way I could just carry everything just like that and then um, I started going over to the cheesecakes and I didn't really follow the directions as far as taking it out of the oven and how you're supposed to do it and all that because I literally just took it out the oven and then let it sit on the counter for like 
however long it took me to mix the biscuits and gravy and then i finally put it in the fridge after i put all this crap on it so i really didn't do the whole process of what the directions told me to do on pinterest so i really don't know how these freaking cheesecakes are gonna turn out but obviously i'll let y'all know at the end of this video but the good lord knows so i like i told y'all i was struggling with the freaking uh funnel because the whipped cream didn't come out whippy <laughs> it didn't come out thick like it's supposed to so i ended up just having a lot of liquid so i put the cheesecakes back in the oven once i filled it up with this cheese the whipped cream was supposed to be whipped cream on the top put it back in the oven took it back out then i put like toffee like english toffee pieces that i told y'all in the beginning i ended up having some sprinkles and i checked the date to make sure that it was a okay but i had some sprinkles put that on there and then of course i put the candy corns around the tray on the table um and then i put some candy corn on top of the cheesecakes along with the rings that i showed y'all at the beginning so overall it was cool i did put some more of those crumbs i saved in the beginning of the video uh, i put some of those on top well all of it on top as y'all saw um, when i put it back in the oven and that was pretty much it <laughs> so let's hope that things turn out good in the morning i saved one for myself just so i could see how it tastes and then y'all know me this is a uh, like i told y'all it's trial and error so if i don't like it i will just critique the recipe focus on it again make it again so i don't want nobody judging me that be made that thinks it's basic that's cool but i've never made it and i wanted to try it and the struggle was real so yeah All right, so let me just, I wouldn't call this venting, but let me just tell y'all. So there is about 12 girls that I work with, or actually I think there's 10 girls that I work with and then two doctors, dentists that I work with. Now, when you have potlucks and stuff, most of us know this, but you have potlucks with a bunch of people. People are always going to bring a lot of, they're going to bring a lot of stuff. Because say if I'm cooking something, I'm going to cook something for the 12 people that are there. And then the next person is going to do the same thing. And then there's always those people like me that bring extra stuff just because you want to be nice and polite or what have you. You just want to, you know, share, share the snacks, share the goodies, you know, so... We had so, let me tell you, we had so much freaking food. Like, one of the girls bought, like, five things a piece, a large piece, of, mind you. So, there was, like, two meat lovers, I think, and then the rest were pepperoni, three pepperoni or something like that. And then one of the girls bought a bunch of hot wings, so buffalo wings and teriyaki, I think it was. Wings, someone brought a big old thing of mac and cheese. I didn't try it. But they brought a big old thing of mac and cheese. Um, there was some meatballs. There was buffalo chicken dip. There was regular dip with breakfast sausage, which I've never heard anybody doing that before. But it was good. And what else was there? I made biscuits and gravy, as y'all saw. And the cheesecakes. Then there was cupcakes. Then there was muffins. <laughs> Oreo balls. Uh, there were some sliders. Y'all, there was just so much food. More to the story is there was a lot of food. I really feel like when it comes to situations like that, like potlucks and stuff like that, we really should just do like split in half. Like five people bring something and then the next event, the next five that didn't bring something, the last event will bring something this event. Did that make sense? I hope that made sense. But you know what I'm saying. Um, just because it will make things a little bit easier. You feel me? easier on us and i ended up actually cleaning the break room cleaning after people cleaning up after people i volunteered while everybody was doing stuff just because my patient didn't show up so i was just like i'll just go clean the break room i get ocd with a lot of things to be honest anybody that knows me i kind of get ocd but i'm not annoyingly ocd where it's just like i'm gonna start 
being all up in your face about what you're not doing or in what you should be doing. That's not me, but anyway, I just thought I should say that. But if you like this video, it was I know it's short and simple or short and simple. When have my videos ever been short and simple? But if you like this video, make sure you I, why I keep touching myself. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe as always. Like I said in the beginning. And stay tuned for Renee and I's videos as always. We have a bunch of stuff coming for y'all. So don't sleep on us. Don't do it, okay? Support us while you can. Leave comments. We're going to read them, of course. You know, read, leave comments. Uh, like the video again for the 15,000th time. Like Renee's video for the 15,000th time. And eat lots of fried chicken and Chipotle. And eat Chipotle for me, especially because there's not a Chipotle anywhere near where I live. It's like an hour away, which is unfortunate. But toodaloo y'all and put down below what costumes y'all are wearing and if y'all are wearing any and what costume i should wear send me some fashion over pictures too i don't know what i was doing bye <laughs>